thank you here. Posing when you look at now is one of my favourites, but I also find it very challenging. It's called the Maltese Cross. It's a hugely powerful and beneficial twist. Twists are fantastic at working to the central nervous system, so they're great balances of the body. Not only will they balance out a wonky side, but they will also balance you out emotionally. They're said to lift your mood if you're feeling very tired, but also to calm you down if you're feeling very frazzled. This one particularly targets into the hip and the piriformis, into the inner part of the hip, but also gives you the most gorgeous stretch here across the front of the chest. Bear in mind, the majority of the day you have your hands here, and also you have your legs in this position. So it's really beautiful, and the idea is you need to hold it for quite a while. So you're coming onto your back. You're just gonna lie down, making sure the neck's nice and long. Arms are out to the side, hopefully at shoulder height. You're going to then bring one leg up, so I've taken the right one up here, cross the left hand over, lifting that right hip, I'm then going to take my leg across. Now I can move this arm into any position I want to get a really good stretch through this shoulder. I'm turning my head also towards this right arm. Now it may be you are just dangling here for a while, but again, I promise you over the course of time, this foot will come down. Just don't allow this to happen. Okay, not at the moment anyway. Just allow the foot to gradually come closer towards the floor. And then you can work to encourage the knee down. Now don't force it, it will come over time. It's a question of spending a long time and a lot of deep breaths in this pose. I'm not going to get the knee there today, but maybe if I spend a lot longer, I maybe do this on the mattress, on the bed, I may start to soften and get a little bit deeper. So you're going to feel it through the hip, inside and outside, through the front of the chest, into the side of the waist, across the shoulder. You may get tingling in the fingertips, that's quite normal as you work into the central nervous system. You may hear your stomach rumbling as you twist the brilliant for your digestion as well. But just keep softening here. Experiment where this knee is, bring it up, drop it down. Just don't let this shoulder lift off. That was my stomach rumbling. When you're ready to come out, slowly turn the head, bring that knee back. It's one of those poses that you might not think you're doing very much when you're in it, but when you come out of it, you can certainly feel that you've worked quite deeply into your spine. So to swap over sides, I'm going to straighten the right leg this time. Hold the left leg with my right hand, take my left hand out to the side. And then again, lift the hip off without the shoulder or the arm coming off. And if I can get this elbow to the floor, I can use that as a lever to gradually bring my foot down. And again, over the course of time, and it will be many minutes for me to get my knee closer to the floor. I can adjust this arm into a better position for me get to get the stretch that I want here through the armpit, through the pectoral muscles, into the shoulder joint. My head is turning towards that straight arm. I'm breathing deeply on the exhalation. I'm in charge of how much pressure I want to put. If I don't want to use that hand, I can just let the leg dangle there on its own. But actually having that arm there is useful because I can give a little bit of encouragement as I breathe out. And again, what you might discover is one side is different to the other, it's tighter. So I would recommend that you repeat it on the side that is, in my favourite words, most interesting for you. If you're really lucky, you might have heard that, you might get a spinal adjustment there, which will put your spine into its optimal alignment. So if you go to an osteopath. Again, when you're ready to come out, slowly lift the head, bring the knee back up, bring the other one up to join it, and then a little bit of massage from side to side on that lower back. And again, just rolling over onto your side. So coming back into sitting, or it might be that after that one, you want to go into your relaxation. I would aim to hold that pose 
for three, four, five minutes on each side. And as I alluded to in the tortoise pose, it's brilliant to do it on the bed. You can get the whole of the double or king size or queen size bed to yourself. You can really spread out and you can use cushions to put underneath your knee. You can really relax into the mattress and you'll be amazed at over the course of time how much more softer and open the hips and the shoulders become. Namaste.